Welcome back. You know, um, you know who we are. We didn't, I, I, I don't even want to get into any of you know, who we are, whatever. That was one of the most frightening experiences <laughs> I've ever had. Uh, for, for those of you who might be just seeing this segment, you need to go to the previous segment yeah. where we just interviewed the gentleman named Artie White Fox. Artie fucks dogs. Um, apparently, he only fucks no, he doesn't male fuck dogs. Them. He, ha well, he, he has, has sex with them. I don't, I don't care. With them. You know, the fact the that it's only male dogs is quite disturbing. He's had fantasies about fucking a, a female dog. But, you know, he just doesn't have the nerve to, to walk up to a dog and say, hey, how you doing? Can I take you home? He struck out a few times. Yeah, maybe yeah. he struck out a few times. I mean, to uh, me, I mean, the, the, you know, the way people, I, I tried to streamline that, that, that interview away from religion because, you know, you can run somebody around in linguistic circles when you start throwing all of this, you know, uh, Bible passages here and there to try and distract or dissuade or, you know, whatever. And the thing that struck me most is he could not answer direct yes or no questions. And when the one time in which he did, it sounded like, you know, it didn't sound like the man consented to, uh, yeah, consented. The man condoned having sex with children because of, you know, the body language of, po I'm like, what the? There seems to yeah. be no boundaries as long as you throw love. Yeah, as long as you're loving somebody. As, as, as long as there's love in the mix. So in other words, all of those people that felt that they were uh, uh, lovingly killing somebody or lovingly raping somebody because in their mind they were, you know, uh, it was an act of love even though the other person didn't want it to happen. It's okay and only Jesus. Well, like you said, you're an, you're an atheist. I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm not an atheist, but I, I, either way, I don't believe in those words. And he went to the King James Bible, yeah, you know, course, the, and the, edited. By, I'm like, come on, that, that, come on now, that shit. I, I, I'll say this. Now, for those of you who are expecting us to rip this dude apart, no. you know, I wanted to hear what this cat had to say. Yeah. And calling him a sick fuck right out the gate wasn't going to get that accomplished. Um, but I was, I, as I said you know, to him in the interview, I did some research, as much as you can call research on Wikipedia, but, um, and I was kind of expecting the stuff that I was talking about. This is what arguments for zoophilia, it, it, to me, it's, at least it's sane. It's, it's, it's yeah, logical. It's logical. I still may not agree with it. I no. still may find it nasty, but this is what they said. Animal sexual autonomy is regularly violated for human financial gain through procedures such as artificial insemination. Such procedures are probably more disturbing physically and psychologically than acts of zoophilia could ever be. Yet the issue of consent on the part of the animal is never raised in the discussion of such procedures. To configure the right... To confine. To confine. I'm sorry. To confine, confine the right of any animal strictly to acts of zoophilia is thus to make a law against zoophilia based not on reason but on moral prejudice and to breach the consensual rights constitutional. of constitutional constitutional sorry <laughs> of rights of zoophiles to due process is equally before the law laws which criminalize zo zoophilia fuck? oh your shit messed up well i can finish up laws yeah. which criminalize zo zoophilia based on societal aberrance of such acts rather than any real harm caused by such acts are an, inju an unjust and unconstitutional infringement on individual uh, liberty now the way that's worded i mean and, and you know and like you said you know i i know when you you take animals and you breed them out and you do a lot of things you know it, it doesn't matter whether it's in the animal's uh, best interest or if the animal desires such thing to take place it's going to take place because we're humans and we you know rule over them and we could do it i understand all of that and that even though but still at its core for me personally as this human being sitting here no matter how logical that is it's still me me seeing a a human right. breeding with an animal so i'm like as logical as it is I don't agree with it, but at least that was presented in a logical way to where I feel that if I were able to bring points up to the individual that wrote this, it might be a discussion to where we would agree to disagree. But that madness that I just heard sounds like someone that's not functioning on this plane of uh, reality. Like he, his inability to answer direct yes or no questions, and then continuing to quote passages that didn't even in them in their you know uh, within themselves didn't pertain directly to the question. Because so that's one thing. If I'm asking you a question about something specific, and you bring a specific Bible passage, but he didn't even do that. So I'm like, Artie, why, why, why could you not just answer direct questions? I don't believe Artie could. I don't think he could. And what is with this religious stuff? We just, we, we established that we're not like a religious three times. Show, that we do not want to hear religion. What are, what are your views? Not what your King James Bible says. What are your views on this? And he could not do that. As I mentioned. 
you know, <laughs> I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to ask, you know, because the, the whole thing about, you know, it's such a natural, natural, all encompassing view of how love is and how the aura around the end of the glow. So how come na nature, you know, won't allow those two unions to that, that union rather to bring life. And more importantly, I didn't even get a chance to this, you know, you know, when you mentioned the chimpanzee thing, because he kept rambling on, I'm like, yo, what about sex with lions and, 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 right. and silverbacks and hippopotami and, 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 and rhinos and, and grizzlies, you know, that shit that can tear you to pieces and disembowel you and eviscerate you in seconds because it doesn't believe or doesn't understand or doesn't comprehend your all-encompassing let me love you attitude. I'm like, you know, so, you know, even the depictions that we see on this Wikipedia page is all small animals. Even if it's deer, whatever it is, is you don't find anything that can actually, you know, uh, become erect and like swing around and, and and fend fend you off. It's all a bunch of quadrupeds that you know are you know don't have the same type of you know like because you know a grizzly can swipe you, grab you, you know a gorilla, a monkey, chimp, all that stuff can you know tear you to pieces. We, you know we've covered those shows now. So. Now <laughs> Did I hear him? Because I, I tried to get him to repeat himself when I asked him, how does he know when his dog wants to have sex? Did he say something about he gets all sticky? He gets wet. He gets wet and sticky. Oh so my, no, and, and my thing is, and, and that's why, no, I heard it. That's why I said, you know, when you're talking about base gratification, I remember, you know, uh, uh, what was that? It was called the Wisconsin Sleepers back in the days. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was, a, it was a ritual in which, you know, you, you, during hazing college years, they would blindfold you, bring you into a room, and some woman would talk some stuff to you and get you to, un, you know, undress yourself and whatever, whatever happens. And I remember, you know, hearing people try to say, well, if, uh, if, the, room's, uh, if the room is dark and some human is doing something to you, would it not feel as good, even if you cut the lights on in some big barrel chested dude or whatever and I'm like you know what it's the fact that I understand a, a body can respond to things but once the lights are on and I realize what I'm doing now it's a choice and I don't you know this, this is nonsense so for me to say that an animal that has nerve endings and can respond to physical stimuli because I have a friend whose friend trains dogs to be attack dogs okay German shepherds and she masturbates the dogs when they get backed up now, the dog does not love her in that way. I'm positive. The dog is just like, wait a second, something is jerking my meats. I'm about to blow my load, and then I'm going back to eat my chow. It's not a loving relationship, yet the dog is able to physically respond. You see, you understand what I'm saying? Physically, yeah. the nerve endings, the tissue, the dog was able to respond. He's getting a free hand job. But it doesn't, you know, it, it was never misunderstood that, oh, this dog, hey, you know, my, 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 my wife, my human wife has beat me off. No. So I understand physically the dog could be horny and be like, well, since Fox has been, you know, blowing me all these weeks, you know, I might as well just go over to Fox and get another blow job. But I don't believe this, the, 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 the ability for this animal to, to, to share the same plane of love. That's, man, that's bullshit. And the fact that he couldn't answer these questions is just un it's unsettling. It's unsettling. Um, well, um, like I said, you crossed the line already with that pedophile shit. Um, I, 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 well, I'm glad I didn't ask if he's ever fucked children because I don't think I want to know because I'd be forced to call the fucking cops. Um, but and then, wow, and then fucking the, wow. And then the whole thing about male dogs, you know, I just, you know, and this is something that, you know, I understand, uh, 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 and my friend just texted me, you know, male dogs, you know, will hump anything. Mm hmm. Well, hump anything. So, but by, by misunderstanding, uh, you know, an, an, a, a dog that once it's in heat, it will basically rub itself up against anything for some sort of s a relief or satisfaction, conveying that and confusing that with, oh, I love you specifically, other than, oh, I love the meat body that's going to get me to blow this load. It's two different things. A dog will hump anything. That's, not, that's what people, you know, when, when women come down on men, oh, you're such a dog. Why you got to be such a dog? Because you'll fuck anything. Because that's apparently what these things do when they're in heat. They don't, you know, there's no, you know, uh, 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 cognitive ability. I think they'll go, well, I like you, but I don't like you. And you, I like your strut. No, I'm horny. I want to fuck. How am I going to get this release? So this is just, like I said, the fact that the dude couldn't answer any questions and condones yeah. Being a pedophile, that's well, that's absurd. <clears throat> that is absurd. Absurd. Um, I think Artie has way more issues at hand than, you know, even fucking animals and shit. Yeah. Um, and he's going to call back, right? He's going to call back after yeah, the show, right? Yeah, Artie called us during the break. And, well, we ain't taking a... We're going we're gonna to be jumping off in a couple of minutes. Yeah, but, but, yeah, he's adamant about fucking loving thy neighbor. You know, and, 
basically he was trying to say if I beat this shit out of some dude who was fucking a five year old in the ass, then I'm breaking some fucking universal fucking Christian, uh, you know, godly law, something like that. Christian. So the fuck Christian, what? Universal Christian law because obviously. Then I'm breaking you, it. Because if you condemn. Yeah. So, in other words, if you see a man fucking, like we said, a two-year-old girl destroying her insides, okay, and you decide to brick bat his head open and kill him on the spot, we've condemned ourselves by condemning him yeah, for no, what he's we're, doing. We're no better than him. We're no better than him because when we see that act and we try to destroy this fucker and make him wish that he never lived a day on this planet, we are condemning ourselves. I don't, that's, that's hogwash. I, that's bullshit. That's a cop-out. That is a cop-out. Be- well, any case, um, Yo, that, that, that's <laughs> if you have comments, if you have questions, I think Artie wants to be our friend now, hopefully not. Um, we'll be talking to him at some point. Uh, answer please. the questions, Artie. Artie, answer the questions. Um, Directly, without religion. And answer of course, the questions. This will be up on our YouTube channel, the Sandy Check Radio. Um, <laughs> you can post on uh, Facebook I at got Sandy a Check. Headache, man. And of course, you can tweet us, and we'll tweet to Artie if you yeah. like. Uh, at Insanity at a, Check 12. 12. At Insanity Check 12. So, I need a beer. So, I'm getting the hell out of here, and uh, we'll be back next week. Thank you guys for checking in. Hope you enjoyed it. I feel filthy. <laughs> Catch you next week. <laughs>